Hey there everyone, in today's video we are going to talk about freelancer marketplace and directory wordpress theme. So basically with the help of this theme you will be able to create a market space or work environment where freelancer can come on your website and check out the services which are suitable for them right. And the best part about this theme is that it comes with Elementor. It is capable of uh, is compatible with Elementor that is one of the great uh, thing about this theme right. As you can see, there is the Elementor logo and if, if I click on the live preview, then it will redirect you to the author official website where you can check out what are exactly we are going to import on our website. I will just guide you through the whole process. But if still you have some kind of issues which have I have not covered in this video, you can always go throughout this whole documentation section, which is really good before buying something. You need to check out what are the things that these people are providing you as you can see. The website is not currently responding from their side, not our problem. Okay, so in this video, I will just tell you how you can install this theme on your WordPress website and import the whole demo content on your WordPress website in super easy steps, right? That would be a really great thing. So first thing first, you need to buy this theme. When you Once you have bought this theme, the theme file is on your system. Okay, so our next step is to install that theme file on our WordPress website. So for this video purpose, I am picking up youtube.samehranclub.com. This is my domain or the demo domain, which I generally use for making video for you people. Okay, so first of all, you need to log into your dashboard for that. You need to type uh, youtube.samehranclub.com slash WP admin to be precisely correct. Uh, let me make it perfectly right for you that you need to type your domain name slash WP admin. Then you will be redirected to the dashboard. Okay, cool. And here, this is the dashboard. Okay, if you're logging in for the first time, it will ask you for the username and password which you have entered while you were installing WordPress on your cPanel. Cool. So once you're done uh, entering your username and password, you will see this kind of interface in front of you. This is the back end or the dashboard of our, what should I say, website, right? So uh, on the left hand side, you will see multiple things. These are the general settings uh, of WordPress website. With the help of this, you can manage the website or uh, modify anything. So let me give you a quick tour. Under the setting hood, you will find privacy, uh, permalink, uh, description section reading. So generally permalink are pretty important thing. You need to always check out this uh, permalink, a uh, post name, so that it will help you in SEO later on from your website right so under the tool section you get import tool export tool you can check your site health so under the user section you will be able to create multiple user and uh, assign them different role right if you want multiple admins on the same website you can do that okay under the plugin section you will be able to find plugins add new plugin or delete new plugin or something like that okay so basically plugin add some extra functionality to your website right and each and every functionality totally depends upon some kind of function which is working upon your website like for example if there is a slider on your website then there has to be a certain plugin working with that particular slider right under the appearance hood you will find theme customize widget menu so basically today we are going to deal with the theme section appearance click on themes and here you can see I have already added that theme which we are going to work upon. I mean to just say I have just uploaded the theme. I will tell you how you can also upload it with super easy step. Click on add new. And here you will see by default WordPress provide you n numbers of free theme. As you can see it's over 7000 free theme. That is a big number right. But 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 there is a difference between a free theme and paid theme. Not a difference. There are a lot of difference between free theme and paid theme. So generally free theme are not that much customizable and their uh, design prospective are pretty low like there there are very less options to make customization as per your own need right and the responsiveness of free theme are pretty low as my own experience right there are not that much responsive when it comes to mobile view or any other devices view right and the major perspective is that the conversion rates are pretty low when it comes to premium theme, right? Premium theme conversion rates, right? Conversion rate comes in action when you are dealing with a news, a news, a news magazine website or blogging website because uh, then you need to get approval from AdSense, right? And AdSense uh, see the conversion rate of a website when it loads up, how much time it takes to loads up and all that. So I prefer everybody that if you have a small amount of money to invest in a... <laughs> 
So I generally prefer if you have a small amount of money to invest in the very initial stage of your business to grow your brand, I generally prefer it to buy a very good theme for your brand, right? It will help you load in future. Okay, so once you have the file downloaded on your system, select the file, choose the file. And if I'm not wrong, is it taking that much time? So I'm going to upload the file, click on upload now, select the file. And if I'm not wrong, here is the file. Let's upload it. Uh, but I have already uploaded the file, so I will just cancel it. Let's come back to the theme folder and let's see that uh, we have to activate the uh, theme, right? So let's activate it and everything will be settled down, right? So as you can see, after the activation is completed, it will ask you to install some kind of certain plugin. As you can see, there is the list of plugins which you have to install. I have already installed it. I just need to activate it. But still, I want to say something that if a theme recommends you or suggests you to install some kind of certain plugins, never ignore those messages. Always uh, install all the plugin which has been suggested by your theme because uh, a theme consists of multiple functionalities, right? There might be a search plugin, there might be a slider plugin. So each and every small, small functionality totally depends upon some kind of certain plugin. So never ignore any kind of pop-up which uh, your theme suggests you or recommend you to do some certain work, okay? So I'll just click on uh, activate. So once you install them, never activate from this section. Always come to the plugin section and bulk action activate. So this section does not take that much amount of time as compared to this section being activating plugin, right? So as you can see, all the plugin has been activated successfully, right? So right now you have to come to this section unison, right? And here it will ask you to install some kind of certain plugin so that you will be able to install demo content, right? As you can see, everything is uh, activated if I'm not wrong, but here will be a plugin which is demo importer. You need to activate all these plugins, then only you will be able to import a demo, right? So these are the major six extension which has been provided by theme which you have to activate it. It's necessary, right? So once you activated all of these, come to the uh, tool section and here you will see demo content install. Click on this and here you will see two kind of demo. I will just go with this demo and click on install and OK and just wait for a couple of minutes. It's, it will be imported successfully. It's time to go and grab a coffee. No worries about it and I'll catch you in the next one. So as you can see, import has been completed successfully. Let me show you how our website looks right now. I'm pretty sure it must be looking good, but I am having a doubt. Let me see if it is completed or not. Let it load and let's see if it is completed or not. If I scroll down, everything is imported perfectly. But as I was doubting, that image has not been uh, imported due to copyright issues. So there is no need to worry about the images. You can always change the images because this page builder comes with Elementor and Elementor is one of the best page builder out there because with super easy steps, you can literally change any of these sections with your own hands without uh, much of a hassle, right? And if you scroll down, if you want to change the image of, uh, let it be like this, this section, then you can always change the image. If you want to change the image of this section, scroll down and change the image you can do that right and if you want to change the text of here latest article you want to be anything like that you can do that there is a super easy steps and these are basically the services you need to go to the back end and you need to change the uh, image a featured image of these services if i uh, click on this service service i will create uh, i will develop ios and android here is the service images which you can uh, change and here are the little description about the uh, services that it's the three hour job a uh, three days delivery time this much amount of views and 20 dollars from starting so i hope you really get my point what i'm trying to uh, convince you right and if i show you the mobile perspective of this whole thing which is literally looking amazing and this is the <laughs> cute uh, android version of this particular website right that is also a great thing so I hope you really liked this video. If you did, just give it a big thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.